Greetings, tasty liquor lovers, and welcome once again to another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. Now, what we're looking at today is one of Australia's most popular beers. At one point in time, it was the most popular, but VB, Victoria Bitter, quickly clawed its way back to number one. What I'm talking about here is Forex Gold which comes in at 3.5% alcohol by volume and it's brewed and bottled in Milton, Queensland at the Castlemaine Perkins Brewery uh, who's owned these days by Lion who are uh, a subsidiary of Kirin who are a subsidiary of Mitsubishi <laughs> of Japan so there you go <laughs> So it goes all the way up to uh, Mitsubishi. <laughs> all right, so uh, I've never reviewed this before in uh, all my time uh, doing beer reviews. So uh, this is a full flavored Australian lager. Uh, claims to use no preservatives. Uh, it's in a 750 ml brown bottle, a tallie as uh, we'd uh, call them here. So look, uh, without further ado, I'll uh, crack off the cap of this uh, lovely bottle that's uh, ice cold, a twist top, and uh, I'll pour it out into this mug. All right, so I gave it a reasonably aggressive pour there. So uh, let's get a look at the appearance. A very uh, clear golden color, quite uh, effervescent. A nice uh, frothy looking bright white head, just a little over two fingers there. Okay, onto the uh, aroma. Well, I'm definitely uh, picking up an aroma there of sweet grains. Hmm, nearly snorted some of that actually. A uh, bit of a yeasty smell as well. Not getting, uh, not getting much else from it actually. Mm. All right, so um, you know what uh, time it is now, folks. It's time for the taste test. We've talked about the uh, appearance and we've talked about the aroma. So uh, time to dive in and uh, yeah, taste this beer. So uh, cheers to you all. Hmm. All right. Well, um, up front, I'm tasting those uh, subtle sweet grains. They've got a subtle sweetness. There's no real bitterness to speak of with this one. It finishes quite clean. Um, being on the lighter side, it's quite crisp too. Yeah, it definitely has that crisp finish. Quite drying as well in the palette. Hmm. All right, time for another gulp. Hmm. All right, well, it's definitely holding that taste profile. As I said, it's, uh, it's quite light bodied bit of a watery sort of taste to it uh, although it's got more flavor than you'd expect for something at 3.5% uh, uh, ABV yeah I mean you're still getting a nice hit of malt uh, in this one there's no real sort of zing to it uh, or tang uh, that you like to get from you know a beer um, that you drink uh, ice cold on a hot summer's day. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I can see why this one, uh, you know, is as popular as it is. I mean, uh, there's nothing offensive about it uh, flavor wise. I mean, uh, is it something that I'd go out of my way to purchase? Probably not. Uh, I'm not really a fan of these mid-strength beers in Australia. 
but I have to acknowledge that uh, yeah brewing this kind of beer is quite challenging <laughs> yeah being that it has well being that it's a lager and it has such a low ABV as well hmm all right so um, is it drinkable well yeah it's drinkable uh, is it something you could session well definitely at 3.5 percent you could throw a lot of these down <laughs> is it going to give you that beer buzz that uh, you're looking for well it's going to take quite a few of these to achieve that mm. yeah that's for certain all right so time for the um, final gulp and the score out of 10 and as far as the price point goes well this one's probably a well <laughs> a very easy beer to procure and you always get it at a good price here in australia because there's yeah such a stiff competition uh you know between the liquor stores with the, the price they can sell this beer for due to its uh, popularity so i think you'll always get a good deal on this one <laughs> yeah particularly if you buy like a 30 block of cans hmm all right well anyway enough rambling about 4x gold um let me have one last gulp and give it a score out of 10. Hmm. All right, well, all in all, it's okay. Uh, nothing earth shattering, nothing offensive really about it flavor wise, but yeah, it's just uh, not what I would describe as a really sort of tasty brew that I would uh, yeah, want to drink lots of. There's better options out there. But for some, yeah, it's the ant's pants. <laughs> and, you know, at the end of the day, there's no accounting for taste. I'd probably be happy to give uh, 4X Gold uh, a solid 6 out of 10. So uh, there you go, folks, a 6 out of 10 for 4X Gold. All right, well, um, I'm just going to kick back and drink down the rest of this, and uh, I'll see you all in the next review. Until then, fare thee well, all.